Savior bled and did my sovereign die. Would he devote the sacred head for sin as such a sigh? On the cross, on the cross, when I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was then by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Thy body slain, sweet Jesus died, and bathed in its own blood, while the femmark of wrath divine is so received my sight and now I am happy all the day. Was it for crimes that I had done? He groaned upon the tree. Amazing pity, grace unknown, and love beyond degree. At the cross at the cross where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day. His glory sing when Christ the mighty Baker died for man the creature's sin. On the cross, on the cross, where I first saw the light and the burning of my heart rolled away. It was then by faith I received my. received my sight and now I am happy all the day. But drops of grief can never repay the debt of love I owe. Yeah, Lord, I give myself away. received my sight and now I am happy all the day. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day.
Three boys were gathering their crosses to commemorate Easter. When their pastor saw them, he said, Oh boys, you are getting it all wrong. The cross on which Jesus died was not smooth at all. It was an old rugged cross. The boys replied, I thought Jesus never touches anything and leaves it the same. The stood high in the front of a group of military officers. The American Civil War just ended. They entered and the general walked to the altar, noticing that the only place to kneel down was near an African-American gentleman. Without hesitation, he knelt down and began to pray. Thereafter, he arose, and General Lee was chastised for kneeling near to the man. But the general simply replied, The ground is leveled at the foot of the cross. History of Amazing Grace. The hymn Amazing Grace was first published in 1779 by John Newton, an English poet and Anglican clergyman who works on slave ships. The writing of this poem, now one of the most widely sung hymns in the world, was inspired by his conversion from being a slave trader and an atheist to a saved and transformed child of God and preacher of the word. 
As a sinner, he considered himself a wretch, saved by grace, with the message that forgiveness or redemption are possible regardless of sins committed, and that the soul can be delivered from despair through the mercy of God, Amazing Grace is one of the most recognizable songs in the English-speaking world. Join us as we sing Amazing Grace has sweet the sound.
1763, that the Reverend Augustus Stop Lady, a reformed Anglican minister, penned down this popular Christian hymn. Traditionally, it was believed that Stop Lady drew his inspiration from an incident in the gorge of Burrington Combe in the main deep hills of England. Top Lady, a preacher in the nearby village of Banglon, was traveling along the gorge when he was caught in the storm. Finding shelter in a gap in the gorge, he was struck by this title and he scribbled down the initial lyrics. As part of his lyrics, Stop Lady wrote, While I draw this fleeting breath, when my eyes shall close in death, when I swore to words unknown, see the on thy judgment throne, rock of ages, 
uplift for me. Let me hide myself in thee.